Hello everyone and welcome to Instant Biology by Dr. Nilab. So the topic uh, that we are going to talk about today is the details of the universities providing MSc courses through Gatby examination. We would be basically dealing with MSc biotechnology and allied courses that are offered by the universities and institutes through uh, Gatby 2022. Okay. So I have this PDF. I have downloaded this from the information bulletin. So if you have this information bulletin, it's well and good. If you do not have this information bulletin, you can directly download it from the website. And uh, see, uh, just like previous video in which I had told you about the MTech biotechnology courses being offered through Gatby examination, this video is just like that only and uh, but the difference is over here we would be talking about the MSc biotechnology courses okay so the first thing is that there are numerous universities over here right so if I give you a brief idea about how many universities are offering uh, uh, this MSc courses there are 53 universities okay and uh, the biggest problem that students face is to choose between these universities which university is good which university is not that good or which course should I follow this is the basic trouble this is the basic problem that is faced by all the students I have received number of queries regarding that uh, uh, which course or which university should I prefer which institute should I prefer if I get so and so rank or I am residing in this area this state which university would be good for me so all of these questions are there so I would be trying and uh, solving all of these queries in this particular uh, lecture video so you would have I would I would share the link of this uh, uh, PDF so you would get an idea about the universities and the courses that they are off offering but I separately want to write down I want I specifically want to uh, mention which are the best universities or which universities you should opt for if you are getting a, a, a good college which university you should opt for and what are the number of seats in that particular university so I am making this uh, special video I will write down the universities according to my uh, understanding and uh, remember that I have made I have I have done a lot of research on these courses and these uh, universities then only I am telling you that these are uh, good and uh, you should opt for these universities if you get a good rank so of course uh, your perception about the university or the course might be different but this remember this video is just for your understanding just for uh, your uh, choice making your choice a little easy so I am just going to, to write down the universities and the courses and the number of seats that are being offered so let us just name this as uh, rankings and uh, since we are talking about MSc MSc biotech ranking MSc biotech so let us start with the first uh, university my uh, according to my perception so first one if you are getting a very good rank which university you should opt for is JNU so the first university that you should opt for is uh, JNU and you see that there are two courses that are offered by uh, JNU first one is MSc biotechnology and remember that there are 30 seats in MSc biotechnology course another course that is offered by JNU only is computational sorry computational and integrated science okay computational and integrated sciences so in this actually uh, computational or bioinformatics is basically uh, the main focus and in this uh, course also there are there are uh, 30 seats okay so this uh, depending upon your interest in computational and integrated sciences you can opt for this particular course the second one so this is A this is B you can opt for course number B or you can also opt for a different university that I'm going to tell in the uh, in the coming in, in, in a bit so the next one that I would go for is IIT Roorkee
सो आई आई टी रुड़की इज ऑल्सो ऑफरिंग एम एस सी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी कोर्स थ्रू गैट बी यू कैन चेक और कन्फर्म इट विद द इन्फॉर्मेशन रोचर दैट आई वुड बी शेयरिंग अलॉन्ग विद दिस वीडियो सो द नंबर ऑफ सीट्स ओवर हेयर इज अगेन थर्टी द नेक्स्ट यूनिवर्सिटी इज बनारस हिंदू यूनिवर्सिटी बी एच यू ओके सो द कोर्सेज दैट बी एच यू इज ऑफरिंग आर अगेन टू जस्ट लाइक जे एन यू द फर्स्ट कोर्स इज एम एस सी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एंड इन दिस देर आर थर्टी सीट्स एंड द सेकेंड कोर्स इज मॉलिकुलर एंड ह्यूमन जेनेटिक्स the seats offered are again 30 okay so next one is the next course that i would be interested in is offered by iit indore iit indore and uh, over here msc biotech course is offered and the number of seats over here are 10 okay next college of my choice would be university of hyderabad university of hyderabad the course offered again msc biotech seats again 30 okay next one madurai kamraj university it's in uh, tamil nadu so it's very famous for uh, biotechnology course you can always go and have a look uh, at uh, the university website and check out the courses so msc again biotech the number of seats 30 next one is savitri bai phule university okay just a minute Savitri Bai Phule University I have written as as BPU and uh, the number of seats the course is MSc Biotech again number of seats is 30 next one is University of Mysore University of Mysore number of seats again the course is the same number of seats is 15 and finally uh, for the female students for the female students one another university is there banasthali university banasthali vidyapeeth actually and uh, over here also the course offered is msc uh, biotech course and the number of seats again are 30 okay so so this should be your categorization or this should be your ranking uh when you are going to choose apart from this there are multiple other universities also uh which you can opt for depending upon your performance in the gadbi examination but more or less this should be your uh choice of uh, choosing the courses apart from this there are other courses also msc agriculture depending upon your eligibility criteria you can opt for those courses also for example msc agriculture biotechnology is offered by uh, gb panth university so uh, but depending upon the course that you have done depending upon the eligibility criteria if you fulfill or not you can opt for uh, these courses but this according to me should be the general ranking that you should follow okay so that was all from my side in this uh, particular video i hope you like this if you like this just click the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you so much and have a good day